Hi, I'm Jerry Hansen. Uh, I am doing the devotion for Wednesday, December 9th. This is based on 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 24, uh, which read as follows. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophecies, but test everything. Hold fast what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful. He will surely do it. And the devotion reads as follows. Concluding his letter to the Christian community at Thessalonica, Paul exhorts his readers collectively as a body, not as individuals. He uses plural verbs and pronouns, which is evident in Greek, but not English. Some instruct instructions relate to corporate worship, such as rejoicing, praying, giving thanks, and listening to prophets. Other instructions have to do with behavior, such as honoring the good and resisting evil. All of this is to anticipate the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Advent season is one of anticipation, both for the celebration of the coming of Christ as the Son of God and Son of Mary, and for his coming again in his own good time. Faith looks to the future of God, who is faithful in life now and in life to come. In the meantime, we gather to rejoice, pray, give thanks, and listen to the word of God. And we seek to be good to one another. Let us pray. Bless, O Lord, our congregation, that it may worship and serve in ways that are pleasing to you. Amen. The Lord be with you.